wrote an article for Veg News. Pantry 911, how to veganize your pantry. Spork is a sister-owned vegan food company that specializes in cooking classes. I wanted to show people that vegan cooking is super easy in your own home. Page uh, 78. Oh, look at you, memorizey. Celtic sea salt? Here we go. We talk a lot about using unbleached salt. Bleached salt actually has no nutritional value. It's all been taken out. And why take nutritional value out of salt when you can have it? And you can really taste the natural flavor when you use it. Omega-3 energy mix, that's amazing. Also, you can find your omegas in walnuts. They're an essential fatty acid, meaning that your body doesn't naturally produce omega-3, so you have to get them from other sources. Don't let anyone tell you that you need to eat fish to get your omegas. It's really important when you're buying nuts to store them in the refrigerator. Right. Mom, are you listening? No, I'm just kidding. Mom doesn't, mom doesn't put doesn't listen. nuts in the fridge. We've been asking her for a while. Maybe when she sees this. Oh, yeah. You want to look for an avocado that's kind of heavy for its size. You don't want to get an avocado that has a pit in it that's kind of rolling around. You also can tell if they're ripe by taking this little bit out of the top. If it's green, it's still ripe. So if it's turned a little bit brown or a little black, I'm gonna put that back for the next guy. <laughs> put that down. I was just lectured this morning because I've been eating all of our bananas without replenishing the source, <laughs> which I'm really sorry. Bananas are really high in pectin, which is actually really good for your intestinal tract. It's very soothing to your body. So if you have like an upset tummy or you want to eat something that's really mellow, bananas are great. They um, relieve cramps, like stomach cramps or um, even muscle cramps. Dad has a little cold, so we need to bring him some miso to boost his little immune system. We are trying to basically avoid the doctor. We don't want to go, we don't want to get sick, we don't want our families to get sick. So that's just something we're really, really passionate about. Healing ourselves from within and kind of spreading that around the world. So this is what miso paste looks like. Boost your immune system. If you feel like you're getting a cold, you drink miso soup and there's a recipe inside for miso soup. So simple. People have been hearing a lot about probiotics and the benefits of probiotics in your body. Miso has probiotics in it naturally. It's also really, really high in protein and high in potassium. You use it in pesto, so you can actually use a tablespoon of miso instead of Parmesan cheese, and you're getting those probiotic qualities. It's creamy, it's delicious. Agave is a sweetener that I think a lot of people have been talking about and hearing about lately. It doesn't raise your glycemic index. What does that mean? It means that you're not gonna get those really highs and really big lows. The Aztecs actually used agave on their wounds because there's antibacterial properties in agave. So you can imagine if it does that on the outside of your body, what it does on the inside. This is the vegan Worcester, Worcester, Worcestershire. Worcestershire. Like, <laughs> I don't know how to pronounce it, but it's delicious. This will add flavor in a veggie burger, in a ranch if you're making it. It's so good. Coconut oil. It's a high heat tolerant oil, especially refined coconut oil. So if you buy a refined kind, it doesn't have to taste and smell like a coconut, and it makes things crispy when you fry in it. It doesn't leave things greasy. In our Pantry 911 article, we talked about coconut water. Well, it has, it has electrolytes in it. So right. That when you drink it, you are replenishing your electrolytes, you feel really refreshed, and it's basically, instead of Gatorade, if you have a coconut, you're really replenishing all those things. As a vegan, you know, it is important to eat nutritional yeast because you're getting your B12 vitamins. These are vitamins that your body doesn't produce naturally, so you need to get them from outside sources. And um, it has um, riboflavin, other B vitamins in here, and zinc, and a lot of good nutrients, but it tastes delicious. It really does. It really does. You can sprinkle it on popcorn, you can make your own cheesy sauce, like a little mac and cheese. Here's the organic spelt we love. This grain has been cultivated for the past 9,000 years. It's kind of like brown rice, and it has all these really good oils in it, um, so it doesn't last as long on the shelf, but it has a nutty flavor. We always do keep flour in our refrigerator. We recommend trying to hunt around, and what you can't find, you can always get delivered online. And you know what? There's no better way to spend money than all.